Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will learn how to install macOS Ventura on VMware. So basically, I'm using a Windows PC. So I have already installed VMware on my desktop. So here are some things that you need to take care before installing macOS Ventura on VMware. So first, you have to enable virtualization on your desktop. So you can simply use this guide and enable virtualization. So you can simply test it by going to your task manager and going to the performance and you can see that virtualization is enabled. So if this is not the case with you, you can simply proceed with this guide and check and enable virtualization on your windows. The next step is to download and install VMware on your Windows PC. So I have simply downloaded the VMware from the official website and installed it on my PC. The next step is to download and install the macOS Unlocker. So these are the download links that you can use uh, and download the macOS Unlocker from, for VMware. So as I have already downloaded the macOS Unlocker, I will simply proceed with the steps. So I will simply right click on it and select extract to unlocker. So my files have been extracted. I will simply open the folder. Now you have to simply right click the windows hyphen install file and select run it as an administrator. Select yes. You can see the all the patches will be created. Once this process is completed, you can simply close your browser. Now the next step is to download your macOS Ventura ISO file. Uh, I have provided all the links and you can find them in the video description below. So now the process is pretty simple. You simply have to open your VMware Workstation 16. Click create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later and you can simply click on next. Select macOS and select the version 2, macOS 13, click next. Now you can name your virtual machine, so I am naming it macOS 13 and I am changing my location to G drive followed by macOS 13. You can leave it uh, as it is also. So now the next step is to click simply click next. Uh, now you have to select your disk size disk size the disk size should be a minimum of 80 gb and you can click on store virtual disk as a single file and click next now click on customize hardware as you can see your memory is 4 gb you can simply increase it to somewhere near 8 gb you can see the maximum recommended memory is this recommended memory under processor i will select 4 under new cd SATA I will click on use iso image file and click browse now this is the iso file that I have shared the links and you can simply download this file this is around 14 GBs click open and now simply click close now click finish once this process is over you can see your virtual machine created you have to close this VMware machine. Now you simply go to the location that you have created your virtual machine. So my location was G drive and this was my folder. Now you simply have to click right click on this and select open with and notepad. So now you can scroll down below and you have to <coughs> add some text. The first one is to simply copy this and you can paste it at the end the next one is to find the ethernet virtual dev so sorry now you can simply remove this and replace it with this now you have to simply save your file close this Close the folder now you can again start your vmware workstation 
now you simply select your mac os 13 and click the power on button now you can see the apple logo and uh, this process uh, will actually take around 15 to 20 minutes so i am skipping this process for the now so now that the process is complete the setup process is completed you can simply personalize your mac os ventura so first you have to select your country and click continue simply click continue again so these are the very basic steps uh, that you can follow and complete your personalization of mac os ventura on your vmware click continue again select not now I will set it up later now you can accept the terms and conditions click agree followed by an agree again and now you can type in your full name in the account name and clicking techrichard.com set your password confirm your password and click continue Now this will create your account on your macOS Ventura. Click continue. I'm skipping the location services. Now you can select your time zone and click continue. Click continue again. Select your look, you can choose from light, dark, and auto. And now that you can see that your microOS Ventura has simply put it. as you like so i hope you have enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe thank you